Welcome to Reckless Audio, the channel dedicated to car audio fabrication and build blogs, tutorials, and car audio competition blogs. The next video starts now. Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a quick update on the Outback build. Last time I showed you the door panels, the dual alternator brackets, the subwoofer box, and the dash pod. So I'll give you an update on those and show you what else I've got done so far. The front doors are done and they look awesome. Um, I got the fiberglass done and got it wrapped in a black leather light -like, uh, uh, four-way stretch vinyl. And then I did the beauty ring over the over the front of the three speakers, so it hides the um, hides the hardware. And then in the door, I took the same color vinyl wrap that I did on the beauty ring, and I covered the factory wood grain look. Then I ran that across the whole front dash, so it turned out pretty pretty good. Um, yeah, you can see here in between the door and the passenger seat, well, both seats, there is next to no room. It just barely squeezed in there. But, you know, worse come to worse, you just tell the passenger, hey, adjust your seat before you get in and uh, it'll be worth it because it's going to sound amazing. I finished the front dash um, voltmeter and base knob pod. Uh, you can see here on the left side, I took the, um, the SCAR amp gain control knob out and I put a second ACR3 in and uh, that goes with my second um, audio control digital signal processor. And uh, I use the same, the same voltmeter in there. Um, but yeah, it turned out really, really nice as well. Under the hood, you can see I got the North Star battery installed and I got the three power runs going back and they're wired and loomed throughout the car. And I've got the SMD fuse block there. There's no fuses in it right now because I don't have the rest of the system built out. Um, but it is, uh, it is ready to go. I don't currently have the positive uh, zero gauge running to the two alternators. Um, simply because I don't have the rest of the system hooked up. I don't need them in yet. Um, I'm waiting for a second high output alternator to come in so that that left one on the bottom there is the stock one and uh, it's gonna get replaced with a high output as well. So I have two high output alternators from GP and you can see here the difference between the two on the previous version. You can see how little wrap was there across the top of that top alternator. And we had to go ahead and, and put a, a, another pulley in and reroute the, um, reroute the belt so that we can make sure there was enough wrap around the, uh, around the top alternator. So that turned out really good. And um, yeah, more props to, uh, to Justin there. Justin Time, he did a great job getting that second pulley put in. Um, so yeah, that'll wrap up under the hood. Inside the car, while I had the interior all ripped up, went ahead and ran the three power runs to the back. And I also ran from the digital signal processors, I ran the uh, RCA cables to the back from there and got those all organized. And then I located um, my two audio control uh, digital signal processors under the passenger seat area. Now, for the box, I just got in my glueitandscrewit.com enclosure. Um, I put it together in the garage. I just pieced it together. It's not glued or screwed yet, um, but I just put it in place just to see how it would look. And so far, I think it looks awesome. It's going to turn out really good. Um, there, I'll, I'll make a video on that. I'm going to do a, a whole process video on um, on the glue it and screw it boxes uh, from ordering it to what to expect when it shows up, how to piece it together, and uh, just the full box build. So I'll be making a video on that. So that's my progress so far on the Outback build. Um, still have the whole back of the car to, to get done. I have to get an amp rack built, figure out how I'm gonna mount the blower fans for, uh, for the amp rack, and I gotta get the box built, 
get power connected, everything. So still have half of the build to go. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you can follow along on the rest of the build. And uh, I've also got some other projects lined up. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, I'm helping him put two six and a half inch subwoofers in his Porsche Boxer. So super cool project. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're subscribed so you can see that video. And we're also gonna be making a comparison video between a uh, sealed and a, um, I'm sorry, so a sealed MDF enclosure versus a sealed 3D printed box. Um, also for that six and a half inch speaker, um, or six and a half inch subwoofer. So um, lots of cool stuff coming up on the video. I've got several projects lined up. So um, stick around, check them out, and uh, go ahead and smash that like button. We'll see you next time.